Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Inuzor Education. Um, this lecture is yet another introductory lecture into solid geometry, where I will just explain a particular kind of uh, objects which we will be dealing with um, as far as theorems are concerned or uh, problem solving, etc. Um, this lecture is part of the advanced course uh, of mathematics for teenagers presented on unizor.com. Um, uh, I certainly encourage you to take the whole course, not just listen to this particular lecture. Um, also, it's important uh, to view this lecture from, from the website, from the Unizor, um, because there are some side notes which are very, very useful, uh, just to refresh your understanding after you have already listen to the lecture. So, the today's lecture is about polyhedrons. Um, it's just another concept. I mean, we were dealing with planes, points, lines, spheres, pyramids, etc. So, this is just another uh, type of solid geometry object which we can deal with. Okay, so what is polyhedron? Well, um, let me let me just give you an example of polyhedron first. Um, something like Egyptian pyramid. Well, I hope it looks like Egyptian pyramid. It's a polyhedron. Basically, hedron means a face of this particular. Um, object and poly means there are many faces so basically anything cube is also uh, a polyhedron and there are many other examples so what is a characteristic property of polyhedron well all faces faces are attached to itself to, to, to each other uh, along the edges um, now, edges are also attached to each other on the vertices. So, basically, that's as much as I can say about the definition of the polyhedron. I understand it's not precise. Um, however, uh, I, I, I think your uh, understanding would be really uh, strengthens, strengthened by, by these two examples. So, what's important, all the faces are flat and faces are attached to each other to basically form a solid figure. Now, um, what's the simplest um, polyhedron we can just think about? Well, I think the simplest one is the one which has the least number of uh, elements, least number of faces, least number of uh, vertices, least number of uh, edges, etc. Well, I, I think it's very easy to make a claim that something like a triangular pyramid is a simplest uh, polyhedron. Now, it has one, two, three, and four, four faces. It has one, two, three, four, five, six edges and one, two, three, four vertices. Something like an Egyptian pyramid which has uh, a square as far as its uh, base. It has um, four, five, five faces. Uh, edges one, two, three, four, and four, eight edges, and one and four, five vertices. Something like cube has um, one, two, and four. It has six faces, um, edges four and four and four, twelve edges. And how many vertices? Four and four, eight vertices. J 
just examples, basically. So I think based on these three examples, you understand that what basically a polyhedron is. Now, if you want some nice pictures, you can just go to internet, enter a polyhedron in, into a search, and you will have lots of very nicely um, uh, uh, presented pictures of uh, uh, hexa, uh, 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 hedron and uh, tetrahedron and uh, all other hedrons, <laughs> basically with all, all, all kinds of all, all kinds of uh, number of faces. Okay, now obviously uh, all the pyramids are polyhedrons, all the prisms are polyhedrons because they contain flat faces and faces are attached at edges and edges are connected at vertices, etc. So basically what I can say in this case, there is no face whose edges are not adjacent to other faces. Hmm? Something like this might actually work. And there is no um, edge which on both ends does not connect to some other edges. So that's just another characteristic of polyhedrons. Um, okay, now most likely we will be dealing with convex polyhedrons. What's convex? Convex always means basically the same thing. If you take two points on the surface of polyhedron, for instance this and this, so this one is on a side and that one is on a back side. And if you will connect them with a segment, well I put the dotted line because it's inside the pyramid, right? Now, all points of this segment lies inside. So basically we are talking about polyhedron to be a, such, a, um, such an object which divides the whole three-dimensional space in, in inside and outside parts. So there is always something which is inside and there is always something which is outside. Now, it means that one part which is called inside cannot be connected to another part to, to uh, one point which which lies lies inside cannot be connected to a point which lies outside without intersecting the surface that's what it means so first of all the polyhedron divides this entire three-dimensional space into two parts inside and outside and secondly it means that if you have two points which are lying inside, then the connection between them also lies inside of the polyhedron. So then this particular polyhedron is called convex. Um, now cube is a convex, uh, such a pyramid is also convex. But you can always imagine something which is not a convex. Let's say you have this cube and I will build certain uh, um, pyramids on each uh, on each face, something like this would be a pyramid and on this I will build another pyramid and on this I will build another pyramid, etc. Now, it will also be polyhedron. However, if you want to connect, for instance, this point to this point, it might actually go outside of the of the whole polyhedron. It will be outside of the whole thing. But without these pyramids, the cube itself is a convex um, polyhedron. All right. So that's the difference between convex and not convex. And now, what's a very interesting thing is um, convex polyhedrons have a very important um, equation which connects the numbers of edges, faces, and vertices. This is called uh, an uh, Euler's uh, formula. Euler was uh, a, a very famous mathematician. He lived all over the Europe and in, in Russia in the 18th century. Um, as far as the Russians period, uh, he actually was one of the people who created the mathematical school of Russia in 18th century, from which lots of good things actually grew from uh, all the different um, 
subjects in mathematics. So anyway, this formula actually belongs to him. And uh, the formula is the following. Number of vertices minus number of edges plus number of faces is equal to 2 for a convex uh, polyhedron. Let's just check it for these three cases. Uh, vertices is 4, edges 6, 4 minus 6, minus 2, plus faces, we get 2. Minus 2 and 4, it's 2. Now, here, um, faces is 5, vertices is 5, that's 5 and 5, 10, minus edges, 2. 10 minus 8. Now, here, you have 8 vertices and 6 faces, that's 14, minus edges, minus 12, 2. You see how interesting? Well, the proof of that actually belongs to the Euler. Uh, we will talk about this at some other later point. But I just wanted to tell you that this is actually quite a remarkable uh, equation. And um, whenever you deal with something, you might feel that this something has certain property. Personally, I never felt that this is a property of any polyhedron, any convex polyhedron. Well, uh, uh, Euler has proved that this is the case. It's a very simple formula and, uh, and, and actually it, 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 there is a pretty involved logic when you want to, to prove it. And the last but not least I wanted to mention was something which is called a regular polyhedron. Now, you remember what regular polygon is, right? Regular polygon is something which is something like this. All edges are the same and all angles are the same. Well, the same means congruent, basically. Now, um, the regular polyhedron is a 3D equivalent of this. So, what can we uh, ask um, the, uh, about this polygon to, to call it regular? Well, obviously all faces all faces of this polyhedron must be regular polygons. So, in this particular case, every face is supposed to be equilateral um, triangle and they're all supposed to be the same. So if they are all the same that's basically a, a base for um, for being called a regular polygon and obviously as a consequence of this all edges are the same because you know if the polygon this polygon is, is congruent to this polygon edges obviously are, are also congruent and what's also important, all angles between the planes, like this plane and the bottom plane, or this plane and the bottom plane, or this plane and this plane. So all these angles between the planes, and I did actually explain what angle between the planes is, so they're also supposed to be congruent to each other. So again, we have all faces the same, as a consequence all edges are the same, and all uh, three-dimensional angles between the planes must be the same. That actually is sufficient to call this um, polyhedron regular. Now, the, the next regular is uh, a cube, obviously. This is also a regular uh, polygon, uh, polyhedron, because all faces are squares congruent to each other and all angles between different planes are actually 90 degrees in this case they're all perpendicular to each other all right so basically that's all i wanted to explain about um polyhedrons again this is introduction um what basically this object is so we will be able to to deal with its properties and the problems related to this um, when uh, regular um, 
lectures will actually start. So this is still an introductory lecture. Uh, I might actually have one more introductory lecture, after which I will go um, in details about each particular um, kind of object in solid geometry. So that's it for today. Thank you very much and good luck.